Hello and welcome back. So in this one we want to start working with our screen analysis screen right here. All right. So let's go down here and add that box layout. And the orientation for this is going to be vertical, of course. And I would like to add some spacing here of about say 10. All right. Now let's add another box layout. And this doesn't need orientation, but well, why not? So vertical. And now that we have that box layout, we are going to size it. So size hand underscore y is going to be none. And the height for this box layout is going to be about 45. All right, now in this box layout, we're going to add a spinner. And this is going to allow us to select a product to basically analyze all right so spinner and we're going to give this an id of target underscore product all right hopefully we haven't used that one and we are going to give this some text and the text for this one is going to be choose product all right and Control us to save and we are done. Now we need to add some values to this spinner. And the values are going to be the products, of course. So let's go back to our products here. And we are going to be using what we used on our get products function here. And we only need the code and the name for this. So what we're going to do is copy all of this. All right. Let's copy all of that. And we want to add our values as soon as we launch this application. So in our init function, we are going to remove all of this, of course, because now we don't need it. And now let's go back here and paste that func that code back, sorry. And of course, we need these two arrays right here. This, sorry. So this is product code. And product code is going to be an empty list, and then product name is going to be an empty list as well. Change this to self, and that's initialize. We are just going to call this one spin values, and it's going to be an empty list too. All right, so this is going to contain the values for our spinner here. All right, and it's called target product. So let's go down here. And what we need to change is, well, we don't need to change anything in here, all right? But we want to increase this, maybe make it 30, all right? Now that we have our products, let's now add them to our values. So we'll say for x and in range of the length of product code, all right? And what we want to do, well, let's create a new variable here, call it line, and line is going to be, and I'll just put this in the middle of product code and name, basically, so the join. And what do you want to join? We want to join our product code, x, all right? And we want to join it with product name, x. All right, so now that we have that line, we need to add it to our spin valves. So spin valves to append, and we want to append that line. All right, so now that we have all of these, we can simply say self dot ids dot target underscore product and dot values is equal to our spin valve. All right, control us to save this. Now let's try to run this and see what we get. All right, so products and choose product. And now we have our product codes as well as our products right here. All right, so I'd say that's looking pretty good. This is where we're going to stop for this one. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. Uh, any comments well leave them in the comment section like and share this video if you liked it and of course definitely check out the udemy course if you are a beginner or would simply like to know more about tv in general